In this video, I will show you how to assign the admin role to an existing user within the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. I will also show you how to create a new user without a Microsoft 365 license and assign the role of administrator. This can be useful when you need a Microsoft 365 administrator that is an external user or does not actually need a license. This can be the case of an external administrator that is not an employee of the business. A Microsoft 365 administrator is a user with the ability to make changes to your Microsoft 365 subscription. Depending on the type of admin role, these users could create and delete other users, reset passwords, modify policies, change settings and configurations within your Microsoft 365 subscriptions, purchase additional licenses, and many other tasks. It is important to understand that the administrator can be a user with or without a Microsoft 365 license. When you create or assign the admin role, you can assign specific privileges to take care of particular responsibilities. For example, the administrator could have access to only specific panels or jobs. For example, help desk, access to Exchange Online, SharePoint Administrator Panel, Microsoft Teams, User Administrator, or even Global Administrator. These are general roles. However, you can also be more specific when assigning roles within the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Keep in mind that the Global Administrator role is the highest top role in terms of privileges. If you create another Global Administrator, this new Administrator will have enough power to delete any other Global Administrator. I suggest you be very careful when creating another Global Administrator. In terms of security, it is suggested to have a Global Administrator that is only used for this task. Let's now access our Microsoft 365 Admin Center and see how this can be done. To access the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, we will need to access our Microsoft account and we will need a user with a global admin role. You can use any browser, and you can use the URL login.microsoftonline.com or portal.office.com. We enter our username, click on Next. Then we enter our password, click on Sign In. Within our Microsoft account, we need to find the admin icon. You may find it here, on the left, if you don't see it, you can click on the upper left corner on the nine little dots and you will probably see it here. If you still can't find it, you can click on all apps and you can scroll down to find it. You will have it here. We are now within our Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Then we can click on the three dashes on the upper left corner to expand the menu and we need to click on Users, and then Active Users. Here you will find all the users within your Microsoft 365 subscription. At this moment, we are going to select an existing user, like for example this one, Tom Test. We click on it. On the right, it will be displayed information about this user. And you can see here, Roles. This user doesn't have any admin role. Then we can click on Manage Roles. And as we just said, this user doesn't have any admin role. But then we can select Admin Center Access. And here we can select the type of access that this user is going to have. We'll find here main categories like Exchange Administrator, Global Administrator, Global Reader, Help Desk, Service Support, SharePoint, Teams, and User Administrator they will give access to a specific admin panels unless you select Global Administrator, which will give access to all of them. You can also select a specific panels and then you need to click on Save. But if you want to be more specific, you can scroll down and you will find here Show All by Category. If we continue scrolling down, you can select more details administrative access for this user. And it is classified by collaborations, devices, global administrator. 
it will give access to all administrative tools. Then we'll see identity, other, read only, security and compliance. Let's say that we want to give global administrator role to this user. Then we click on save changes. And now this user will have the same kind of access that I have. And he will be able to assign admin roles as well, including global administrator. As we mentioned in the introduction, this new global administrator will be able to delete or remove the global administrator access for myself. That's why you need to be careful when you assign global administrator role to other users. Let's go back to active users. We close here and then we're going to create a new user and we are going to assign admin role as well. We need to click on here, add user. We need to enter the new user information. His username is going to be Peter. We select the domain name that we want to for this user. We're going to use our default domain name. We can create our own password or we can allow Microsoft to generate a password automatically. Then we click on next. At this point, we are not going to assign any license. It's going to be a user without a license. We need to click here on create user without product license. And then we click on next. Then we will be able to select if this user is going to have administrator role. We click here. And as we saw before, we have the different options here to create the, ad the admin role that we want for this user. We're going to give him access to Exchange, SharePoint, and User Administrator. Then we click on Next. We can review the information that we just entered. We will see here the admin roles that this user is going to have, and then click Finish Adding. We have just created a new admin user. Since we select the option to generate a password automatically, we will see here the password for this user. Then we are ready to close. And we will find here the user that we just created. Now, as a global administrator, I'm able to remove the administrator role for any user. Let's select as an example, one of the users that we assign the admin role we will see that this user has a global administrator role. Then we click on manage roles and we can unselect the option for global administrator. And if we are not going to assign any type of role, we just click here, user no admin center access. Then we click on save changes and I have just removed the admin role for this user. When you purchase Microsoft 365 Business, the global admin role is automatically assigned to the user that is created at the moment of the setup or initial configuration. That administrator will be able to assign admin role to other users. I hope this video provides useful information to manage your Microsoft 365 business subscription. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one or want to find it easily again in the future, I invite you to hit that subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.